Well, this video is going to start out a little different because you'll hear me say a little later on when I start the actual filming of this, not start, but in the middle of it, uh, that I'm having trouble with my phone. But anyways, I had to transfer everything over from my phone to my new phone and I had videos on there, but I thought I had saved them on my hard drive and I have the folder, but the folder's empty. And I've searched everywhere for the videos once again and I can't find them, but the sound quality on it was really bad. So I'm gonna start you off letting you know where I, how I started out and then we'll start the video on when I started filming with the new phone. But I started out with some muslin and I put this in uh, my coffee and cinnamon mixture and I dyed some muslin and I cut me a little piece out, probably a two and about, oh, that's about a three by five maybe. And I just took some of this paint and just uh, took my brush and just, I didn't draw lines or anything. I just done some stripes real fast. Didn't try to do it real neat because it's primitive. And then I took a piece of this that I had, this was a napkin that I got in a thrift haul and I glued it on there. And then I glued all of it to just a stick from outside. I went outside and got some sticks. So that's how I made the flag that I'm gonna be using. And then I made flowers, of course, that won't be in the video. I didn't do a lot of it because I've done them before, but I just found me the size I wanted, made me a template of two different sizes and two pieces of the one here. And then this one, I went around with a slip stitch or a straight, you know, just went around it and left it open, stuffed it a little bit, closed it up. And then I did put the uh, vanilla and coffee on that also and then i as here you can see one finish now and i stuck a little stick up the back of it and glued it on there and i'll have several of those in my project and then i also had a, a larger piece that i done the tea dye or the coffee dye on and i'm using a shingle so i think and the color i used for the flag was this Red Rust by Anita's. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. But that's the gist of what I made was the flag and some flowers and how I come up with this. And now we'll continue on to the video with it already in progress because I, I've lost the rest of it. All right, guys, let's get on to it. Well, I may just get one project done again today because I was having trouble with my phone and the uh, sound on it and my phone came in my other phone so I had to stop and set that up and that never goes smoothly for me so I'm just it's getting late and I'm just now starting back on this but my fabric is dry and I did put some uh of the vinegar solution. As you can see right here is what it looks like normally. It's just a piece of shingle and I put the vinegar solution where you put vinegar and your steel wool in there and you let it set until it starts turning brown and you take your steel wool out and you can age your wood. So I am going to start with Trying to get this down on there. I want to make that a little lip. So I'm just going to tack it with some hot glue. And a bunch of strings. And now I want to put that down on here. I don't want to go real tight with it because I want to be able to stuff things in it. Okay. 
Okay, bring this over. I'm not going to pull it tight. I need another glue stick. Okay, that's about right. I can fit two fingers in there. Okay, now I need to fix these on some sticks. I don't want the heavy sticks. I want my thin sticks. Let me get those. And I'm going to have to stop and get my... Where is it? Oh, my wax. Because I want to coat my sticks. I'm going to do four of them to start with. As you can see, I get these at the thrift store when I see them. This little pack was 25 cents. And I'm going to take this uh, folk art antiquing wax and just put it on my sticks and wipe them back and give them some color to put on my flowers. But I'll be back when I get that done. Okay, I think I'm ready to start putting this together. I went ahead and stuffed the uh, Spanish moss down in there because it does get messy, gets all over the table. So now I'm gonna start trying to put this together. It's exactly where I want it. Hopefully I can stuff it with all that down in there. Kind of throw it at an angle with the flag. And I went ahead and pre-drilled two holes in here because I know I'm going to put rusty wire on it. And I've done up three flowers. If I need more, I don't know. where I put them. Okay, that needs to kind of go back behind the flowers, I think. kind of getting in front of my I want my flag to show for sure hmm here we go again looking to do something to kind of cover up should my flag be higher than my no that doesn't work gonna have to be something like that I don't know whether I need a fourth flower or not 
What do I got here? And I don't know where my other stick is. There it is, if I need it. Now, all my flowers, I did just take a little pair of scissors and just made an itty bitty, itty bitty split and put some hot glue on there and stuck that up in there. Really, with the point on it, you may not even have to do that. And, of course, cut it off. I don't know if I need another flower or not. That kind of looks cute there. But let me get the rest of the stuff in there before I put any more flowers on. Got some pip berries pulled out. I know I'm going to need more red. So let's see what we can do here. I may just kind of show you what I'm doing and then do the rest off camera because it takes me a while to maneuver things. Get things pulled apart. That's coming unwound. Better put that back on there. And I remember to turn my hot glue gun on. Okay. Need to let that dry, though, before I try to stick it down in there. I want some darker ones. A couple of darker ones and some red ones. hot glue around that too so it doesn't come in wound. Those things are there it goes. I did that. That's going to be at the bottom anyway. Am I going the wrong way? That way it will not unwind on me. Okay, there's some white ones, some red ones. And some dark ones. That's too long. I want to squish down. After I get them in here, I'll get it all stuffed. I'll probably... glue a bunch of the stuff in place. But I don't want to glue it until I know where it's all going to go. The white one on this end. And then I'm probably going to take some of my Sweet Annie and stuff in there in places. But I'm not liking this just plain here, so I'm going to work on it for a little bit. I've got me some material out here. I think I'm just going to wrap this back here. Okay, I need to cut that off. Put this on there. Put 
put some under there so it stays in place. <clears throat> and I have some uh, coffee dyed cheesecloth now. Did I go crooked on that? Kind of did. Right there. Let that stay there. stuff kind of doesn't stay wide. <laughs> it wants to crumple together. And I may have to just leave it. Don't know how much I'm going to need of it. That is plenty. I'm going to cut this here off. Save that for something else. I don't know whether to put that in a bow or just let it hang. I cut too much off that side. Yeah, I did. I'm going to have to which way is a long way. Okay. Now that should work. Every time I tie a bow, it just wants to go its own way and it's not the way I want it. Okay, something like that. And that rusty star may be too big. I think it is. I need a different rusty star if I'm gonna put one of those on there. So I'll have to go look for that. Okay, that's the base of it. Now, I'm going to start filling it in with some Sweet Annie, but I'm not going to hold y'all here because I'll be pulling and tucking and pulling and tucking. And I'll come back. I did print out a little tag here. I don't know if I'll use it or not. I don't know. Made up a little tag. Found that little crow image on the internet and... Took it into Silhouette Software, put a flag there, and brought the crow to the front. I printed it out and then cut around it for a tag. All right, I'm going to work on this and see what I can come up with. Get everything glued into place. I'll put the wire on it, and then I'll come back and show you how it looks.